What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Sag, and you enjoy my, enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for Sound of Sag. This is if you have Sag in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Fair, Maintain, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Sign of Sag. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up. Move Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. Uh, we're 13,340 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It's um, Just saying, just saying. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, I want to say real quick while I'm shuffling out, um, everybody, please think of me. I'm saying it until my court date. My court date is 7 15 of 2022, so it's coming up very, very quickly. Child custody battle hearing date um, between me and my ex husband. He's fighting me for custody of our two teenagers. This is not my first rodeo with him by any stretch. This is actually court date number five or six or seven. It's at least court date five. Um, but it's not the first rodeo with him. The first couple times it was child support adjustments because at the time I was an RN and his, uh, his wife at the time, which they're still married, um, she wasn't a RN at the time. I don't even think she was in nursing school. Or if she was, she was early in. But um, so, and I understood that, the child support, child support adjustments. But then after that, he started accusing me of crazy stuff. Um, and it's been court battle after court battle after court battle with him. It's been insane been insane um and so um the last time he accused me of child abuse that was a couple years ago and then about six years ago when i was dating somebody um back before i, I moved to the city five years ago into this house as a first time home buyer five years ago but six years ago when i lived in a rental home um out in the country i was dating um, um a guy and um he lived 45 minutes from me in Madison. And uh, my ex-husband wigged out. He kept accusing me of the man living in my home and uh, saying I was um, violation of court papers and contempt of court and all kinds of stuff. Um, so much so that he bought, my daughter was about 10 at that time. He bought my daughter a phone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Around that time. And um, he manipulated her to um, to walk around my rented home at that time and take photos because I made my uh, boyfriend at the time a drawer so when he came over, 45 minute drive, he could shower and brush his teeth and all that. I made him a drawer of clothes and he had like a toothbrush and toothpaste and razor and stuff there. Um, so when he would come over, he could fresh enough, you know, but, um, so, uh, he walked, he manipulated her to take the device that he had bought her and walk around my rented home and take pictures of the toothbrush, toothpaste and razor and things like that. And the, the drawer of clothes to prove as evidence in the court of law that I, um, that I had, uh, that I was contempt to court so he could take the kids basically. Um, that was two court situations ago. The last court situation a couple of years ago, he accused me of child abuse. Um, and then this upcoming uh, court situation. It's ongoing, 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 ongoing with him. It's really ridiculous. It's very ridiculous is what it is. Um, it's abuse of the legal system because every time I have to lawyer up with private lawyers, spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands in legal fees, as a single mother on one income, and it's really, it's abuse of the legal system. Like down here in Alabama, in the state of Alabama, there's no legal assistance for people on income, limited incomes. At least not to my knowledge, nobody's told me there, that there is. If there is, because I've paid all my guardian ad litem fees and all my lawyer fees, private lawyer fees, out of pocket. So, I mean... It's abuse of the legal system is what it is. And that's just the truth. Um, but if everybody could just think of me, I've, but he knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. 
So if everybody could just pray for me or meditate, pray, meditate, whatever you do, pray, meditate in your thoughts, uh, well wishes, what have you, what have you. No judgments on channel of religion here. Y'all know that. No judgments, period, unless you're a pedophile or a thief. And that's just the truth. Um, so I'd very much appreciate it, okay? Mountain, major challenge to overcome. Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Wishbone, a wish is granted. Number 42 could be a very significant number in one's life. Woman holding a coin, also number 19. 42 or 19 be possible ages of viewers by you're connected to for some you can be dealing with the air sign or water sign hummingbird or octopus if you are they could have gemini libra aquarius or cancer pisces scorpio in their sun moon rising venus or them in or jupiter charge you plug it in how it resonates um sagittarius and then fantasy you have fantasy hummingbird I just want to say real quick before I channel in, um, I'm moving out of state. My plans are to regain custody because we're in the McClendon standard right now. So my plans are to gain, regain custody back of my kids on 715 to 2022. Two, renovate my home and rent it out. And three, move out of state. If anybody's wondering my plans, just saying. Hummingbird. A significant nighttime connection of two people connecting behind a behavioral health unit soon. Drug diversion, drug, drug, drug diversion, drug diverter. Drug smuggling is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. Oh my God, you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of nighttime communication between two people behind a behavioral health unit, I heard, um, is about to become very significant in Sag's life. Drug diversion, drug, um, drug diverter energy, drug smuggling energy. So somebody's been drug smuggling and drug diverting out of a behavioral health unit, basically. Um, and it's about to be made known. Um, I don't know if you are the drug diverter or drug smuggler, Sag, or you're about to hear of this drug diversion or drug smuggling. Um, however that resonates, Sag, but it hurt is behind a behavioral health unit. For some, it's behind a skilled nursing facility. For some, it's behind a skilled nursing facility. So for some, it's behind a behavioral health unit. For some, it's behind a skilled nursing facility. Um, and it's nighttime. It's nighttime um, communication between two people. I wonder, and I didn't hear this, but I wonder if pharmacy is involved in this. Because y'all know I've been a nurse for a long, long, long time. A long time. And I know how the procedures work because I've worked in skilled nursing, never behavioral uh, health or anything, but skilled nursing. I know, I know how it works. I wonder if pharmacy is involved with this. I didn't hear it was pharmacy they're communicating with, but it's, it's between two people somehow they have to get be able to get the drugs out of the facility and the unit um, in a covert way is what I'm trying to say. I wonder if they partner up with somebody that works in the pharmacy because pharmacies, um, they route. They route to all these um, uh, behavioral health units and skilled nursing and assisted livings and uh, hospitals. They route at night that they do their routes at night. Um, they do them during the day too, but n night too. They do them all, all hours. But night, it would be, it would be more covert. It'd be more overt. It, you know, it'd be harder to see. So I could see why they do it at night. But I wonder if it's a pharmacy person they're connecting with. And I'm just being serious. Um, so hummingbird, um, 
the communication, the communication of um, the activity of um, two people, some behind a skilled nursing facility, some behind a um, uh, behavioral health unit for a drug diversion. Um, a drug diverter is about to be exposed very soon. A drug diverter is about to be exposed very soon. So a drug diverter is about to be exposed very soon. Well, they should be. Octopus. A very obsessive, clingy person, a single Sagittarius is about to meet through some through speed dating, through some through online dating, is about to become too much for you. Oh Lord. <laughs> Shit. That's why I don't date, man. That's why I don't date. You get the crazies. You get the crazies, and that's just the truth. Um somebody's been speed dating and um uh, Online dating, and I no judgments here, but I sure I sure ain't gonna do it because I've I've ran into my chair of crazies on online dating, and that's just the damn truth. Um, but one of you guys is online dating, is speed dating. I heard you're about to meet a, a very clingy, obsessive person. Now you can be masculine, or femme, sag, but whoever you're about to meet on the online dating or the speed dating, speed dating's in person. They do it real, real quick. I've never done it, but I've seen it like on TV. But anyways, I heard um. It's about, uh, it's, it's going to be too much for you. It's going to be too much for you. Uh, you don't like the clingy obsessive types, apparently. And I, who the hell does? That's too much codependency for me. I think of like the tentacles, like they're latching on their damn tentacles to you. I mean, I'm all about loyalty, but codependency and obsessiveness are two completely different things. You should be able to be loyal to one another and, um, still each maintain your independence and that's just the truth this person does not know boundaries and you're about to realize it in a huge way this person does not know boundaries and you're about to realize it in a huge way so this person does not know boundaries and you're about to realize it in a huge way i'm thinking of the little slimy sucky succubus tentacles like about, gonna try to attach to your ass psh, 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 psh. that's too much that's too much um being loyal to somebody and not cheating on somebody is one thing not um you know not trying to set them up or use them or um uh, or make money off somebody or you know or drain somebody dry like through you know people that the scammer people through the online dating that strictly meet people just to scam them dry basically and steal from them um yikes no that's why i don't do that online dating shit it's just it's scary it's scary you don't know who the hell you're gonna meet uh be careful this is a very crazy uh well not crazy but they're i don't want to call them crazy but they they see they they don't seem very kiltery uh they don't seem correct they don't seem correct they seem off kilter um there's a reason they're codependent, though. There's a reason. I I would steer clear, but, of course, you have free will. Whoever you are, sorry, ma'am, you're online dating or speed dating. Um, they're about to attach their tentacles to you. Um, if I was you, of course, you could take the advice or leave it. I would um, de detach the sucky, succubus type, suction type of their tentacle off of you and move on. But, um, of course, you could take the advice or leave it. That's, that's too damn much. Just saying, just saying. Fantasy. A particular Sagittarius is about to 
go to cosplay soon. And one is about to get into anime. Okay, a particular Sag is about to go to cosplay soon, and one you're about to go to uh, one you're get, getting into anime. So one you're getting into anime, and one you're um, um, getting um, going to cosplay. So some kind of cosplay con convention. I've never been to cosplay convention. I would love to go though, and that's just the truth. And one, it sounds like you've never been in an into anime before, but you're about to get into it. So fantasy world, the anime, or the cosplay. That's beautiful, man. I love both of those. I would love to go to a cosplay convention one day. And that's just the damn truth. I would love, love, love it. Coffin. A very significant fight on a child's ball team is about to break up the team. Swinger, swinger parents. Oh, my Lord. A very significant fight on a child's ball team is about to become significant because of swinger parents. I've had my kids on many ball teams in the past. Travel teams, rec teams, what is he, what is he, what is he teams. Well, if there was swinger activity going on, never, nobody ever invited me, and I'm just being for real. Um, but I'm glad they didn't because they would have known not to invite me, and that's just the damn truth. But somebody's got some swinger activity going on on a ball team. Um, I feel you might be a parent. I heard a child's ball team. You're either the coach or an assistant coach or parent. Or you're a board member uh, for the travel league or the rec team or what have you. Or the rec center or what have you, what have you. Um, however that resonates. But there's about to, you're, um, the ball team is about to be broke up. So... The parent, like the, I think the kids, uh, parents about to take the kids off the team or the coaches are about to go off the team because of the swingers of the parents or the parents and the coaches on the team. So ending of the ball team situation because the parents cannot keep their genitals to each other, basically. This is sick. Um, yikes. For one, you're a coach. for And you, you initiated it. Oh, my God. Whoa. One, you're a coach and you initiated it? Shame on you, Sag. Coach that initiated that shit. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that, that's sick. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Okay, I didn't hear anything else, but this could be the overdose energy, too. Remember earlier I heard overdoses in here and alcohol poisoning? So, for some, this could be overdoses and the alcohol poisoning coming. For, for one particular Sagittarius, a particular person that's about to pass away from AIDS is about to become very significant in your life. Okay. Um... This person has spread this disease around to many people in their community. This person has spread this disease around to many people in their community. Oh, Lord. So, for one of you guys, somebody's about to pass away from AIDS. Um, is it, obviously, they had HIV at first, but it progressed to AIDS. Because um, HIV always progresses to AIDS. Um, well, it doesn't always. I mean, it, it can. It really all depends on how strong somebody's immune system is. The, you know how soon they get treatment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It can progress to AIDS, I should say. But whoever this is, it did progress to AIDS. Um, and I heard they have transmitted it to basically many people in their community. Um, it's not you. It's somebody that you know. They are significant to you in some shape, form, or fashion. But uh, I think this is their physical funeral energy here. Um, they are about to pass away. Um, this is their funeral. Wow. A very significant heroin overdose is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. And a Sagittarius is about to call Child Protective Services on a pedophile ring. Okay. And uh, um, somebody about to pass away 
oh, uh, from heroin, heroin overdose is about to become very significant in your life too. So I think you might go to the funeral, um, Sag, um, or you're going to know of the funeral of the person that passes away from overdoses on heroin. Um, and I heard one of you guys is about to call child protective services soon to break up a child pedophile ring. So, um, you know of this child pedophile ring and you're about to call child protective services to get them involved to break up the child pedophile ring. Um, so putting an end by calling child protective services to break up the child pedophile ring. How that resonates and applies in one's life. Woman holding a coin. Now, Sagittarius is about to win a very significant lawsuit soon. It's about to make you a very wealthy woman. So it's a Sag Fem. You're a Sag Fem. You're about to win a lawsuit soon. I heard it's about to uh, make you a very wealthy woman. So congratulations, woman holding a coin, about to win a very significant lawsuit. Well, congratulations, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, con congratulations. Okay, um, Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. A Sagittarius is currently in the middle of a third party situation. They're about to find this out. A Sagittarius is currently in the middle of a third party situation. They're about to find this out. So, um, I'm assuming that someone's trying to come between some, something you want, um, uh, is the third party situation. You don't know you're in the third party, but you're about to find out. So I'm assuming you're probably going to cut off this situation once you find out you're in the middle of a third party. Because who want who who wants to be in the middle of a third party? Not I said the little red hand, and that's just the truth. Um, that's disrespect all day long, unless you agree to some kind of polyamorous type situation that puts you in the middle of a third party. I mean, where you free willingly agree to be be in the middle of a third party, and that's just the truth. Nay, nay. Mountain major challenge to overcome. Someone is about to break into a Sagittarius's masculine's home soon. People know in the past this person stole money from a feminine energy in their community. Someone close to the Sagittarius masculine knows where the money is. They're about to take it. Take it all. Not even going to leave a little bit. It's about to shock the hell out of this person. And this person will be gone after this. Know this. They will be gone. Gone, gone, gone without a trace. Out. Out of the state. And they will not come back. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So we have a Sag masculine that stole basically a crap ton of money from a femme energy in the past. A femme energy of his community, I heard. So... If this isn't you, Sag Masculine, and you're a high vibrational Sag Masculine, you might know the Sag Masculine that stole basically a crap ton of money from a Fem Energy in his community in the past. If you aren't this low vibrational Sag Masculine and you're a high vibrational Sag Masculine, you have to plug yourself in where you fit, sir, ma'am. But there is a low vibrational Sag Masculine in a community that stole money from a Fem Energy in the past and a crap ton of it. But it sounds like he doesn't have it in a bank. It sounds like he has it in his home. Uh, but somebody close to him knows where this money is. It is about to be somebody that you never would have expected. They are about to team up together to take this money. Many people are about to team up. 
It is about to be somebody you would have never expected side to pass going. I heard many people are about to team up. It sounds like they're about to tag team up to get this money, to take this money. So it sounds like there, one person's going to go in and steal it, or maybe two. I heard one, but it might be two. Um, but many people are conspiring behind the scenes to do this. If you, uh, you don't, this hasn't happened yet, but if this resonates for you, Lobo Racial Side Masculine, somebody is behind the scenes currently in the energetic space working behind you, behind the scenes, and you would have never, would have ever thought who basically was doing it, but they're doing it behind the scenes right now, conspiring to steal this money from you. They haven't sold it yet, but they're about to. So major challenge to overcome is all this stolen money. Whoever you are, you have it in your home or your property somewhere. I didn't hear specifically where it is, but it is somewhere in your home and property. But your community knows you stole it from the Fem Energy of the past. And the people that are conspiring behind the scenes right now, behind the scenes on you, Sage Masculine, to steal it, they know you stole it from the Fem Energy too. But what they're not telling you is they're conspiring behind the scenes to steal it from your ass. They're about to be very successful. Very. These people know way too much on your life. And they're about to use it to their uh, their advantage. Oh, my God. I heard these people know. They're about to be very successful. Oh, my God. They're about to pull this off. Um, it is people you know, Sag Masculine. People you would have never, ever, ever guessed to do this. I heard they're going to steal it all. All of it. They're not even going to leave a little bit. They're going to steal it all. Oh, my God. And it's people you know. Some, it's, for some, for it's people you work with, for some. And it's family members, for some. And a neighbor is in on this, too. Oh, my God. You've got a bunch. You, oh, my God, Sag Vasculin. You are about to get picked clean. Okay, so that's why I don't communicate. I don't hang out with no damn body. Nobody because of this shit. This is crazy. So you work in the 3D workspace, Sag Masculine. So for it's some, it's your coworkers conspiring to do this. For some, it is um, a neighbor. So a neighbor and family members conspiring to do this. So you have family members conspiring to do this, a neighbor and current 3D workspace coworkers. I heard they're going to take it all. They're not even going to leave you any. So major challenge to overcome is uh, the theft, which is the coffin, the ending of all this money. You've got it somewhere on your property or your home or something. Um, they are about to pick you clean. And they obviously are not going to tell you they're conspiring. If you didn't know and you're about to be the one, to have your um, shit picked clean, just know it's co-workers that are currently conspiring in energetic space to do this. One neighbor, it sounds like, and family members. It sounds like they're going to take it all and then split it, is what it sounds like. A wish is granted. Public assistance is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. It's about to really help out. Okay, I heard public assistance is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. It's about to really help out. Well, I mean, if if you need public assistance, I don't judge people that get it. Um, I've never gotten public assistance except for WIC. Um, but I don't judge people that get it. Um, I have gotten help from utilities before, but it wasn't actually public assistance for, like from the state or federal or anything. Um, but some kind of public assistance energy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, uh, um, Sag. Um, it could be WIC, it could be food stamps, it could be HUD housing, it could be welfare, it could be um, what have you, what have you, whatever public assistance. Um, the, I'm naming the ones that I can think of, but you plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of public assistance energy, a uh, wish is granted. Uh, sounds like you're going to be approved. Sounds like you're under the income line. Uh, you, congratulations. Um, if that, I mean, if that applies for you. 
A grooming of a dog is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. A grooming of a dog is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. So some kind of grooming of a dog. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of grooming of a dog. Um, I guess it's going to make you happy. It's going to uh, grant your wish. You plug it in how it resonates, Sagittarius. A Make-A-Wish Foundation is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life and the death of a parent. A Make-A-Wish Foundation is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life, so wishes granted, some kind of Make-A-Wish Foundation energy. Um, I don't know if you're donating to the Make-A-Wish Foundation or you're purveying, um, purveying services from the Make-A-Wish Foundation or you're volunteering for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You plug it in how it resonates and... Um, and um, a death of a family member is about to become very significant. So coffin, death of a family member, you plug it in, how it resonates, um, Sagittarius. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Deshay, Lachey, Martha, Jennifer. Deshay, Lachey, Martha, Jennifer. Travis, D, Travis and D, Cooper, Cooper, Carly, Carson, Cooper, Carly, Carson. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right. Well, that could be a first, middle, or last name of you or somebody you're connected to. Jason, Jacarvis, Jamarian. Jason, Jacarvis, and Jamarian. Um, Jason, Jacarvis, Jamarian. So um, that could be a first, middle, last name of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant name in one's life. You plug it in, how it resonates. All right. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. And namaste.